Well, thank you. Thank you very much. It's, it's great to be here. Um, I'm really excited today uh, because I get to tell you a secret. Um, and it's a secret I've been working on with Megafon uh, for the past year. Um, it's a project which is a fusion of architecture and technology. Um, and let me tell you a little bit about it. You may uh, recognize some of these symbols on the screen. They are our digital lives. These are the, uh, the platforms that we use to share photos with our friends, to share videos, to um, communicate. In a way, they're the way that we share our digital lives and we, we find out about all the world through them. At the moment, it's a very interesting time because the digital world and the physical world are beginning to blend in some very interesting ways. So nowadays, we don't need to measure an object, we can 3D scan it. We don't need to go to a factory to make an object, we can 3D print it. We can even print a 3D printer. So what can architecture learn from this? It's an interesting question. Um, in terms of innovation, uh, when Megafon asked me to collaborate with them to create a piece of architecture for, for Sochi 2012, um, we clicked together, we clicked. Um, our focus, both of us, is using techn technological innovation to see how we can make people's lives better. It's something we both aspire to. For me, um, the question is how can we use technology to make architecture improve people's lives? Mankind has always uh, recorded history through the landscape, through buildings, through uh, monuments. So for this project, I wanted to look back before I could look forward. The internet is now how we record our history. So we use, uh, take a self-portrait and we'll send it to our friends. We'll send a text message with an emoticon to tell people how we feel. That's really normal for us and natural for us. I wondered what, what with this capability we could learn for architecture. If we were able to 3D scan people and upload their data to a building, could the building also express emotion? You, you'll notice the face is still the predominant language of communication here, whether it's the internet or historical monuments. So, the answer is, I'm going to invite Nastya up here to help me with this. Can a piece of architecture convey human emotion? That was our question. The answer is, it can. This is a project we have developed together for Sochi 2014. It's a simple piece of architecture, but it's not just a piece of architecture, it's actually a digital platform. You're looking at the image and you're thinking, well, that's just a statue, but it's made from new materials. It's not just a statue. This is a building which when people enter it, they get 3D scanned. And when they leave the building, the building can physically morph into their face. So everyone at Sochi can become a face of the Olympics. This piece of architecture is a digital monument to all of us. So I look forward to seeing you all in Sochi to experience this first time. Thank you. Снова Анастасия у нас на арене.